An out of control driver is locked up tonight after speeding through a mobile home park in Brownstown Township. He crashed into more than a, a dozen cars, caused a lot of damage. Kimberly Gill is in Brownstown Township. Kim, did police know why this happened? What was what was going up with this guy? Steve, no, they had they don't know. And, and people that I've, we talked to here, they say they don't know why a driver would cause this type of damage. I mean, look at this. This is a really quiet, close knit neighborhood. Uh, since we've been here, we've seen a lot of kids riding their bicycles and scooters throughout the neighborhood, which is why neighbors say they are glad this incident didn't happen at a busier time. He must have gone 70 up this road right here. I was standing out here on the corner. Then I could hear the squealing and the banging. It happened early Sunday morning about five. Someone drove through, damaged more than a dozen cars by driving into them erratically. The noise was so loud it woke many of the neighbors. The wife and I, we sleep right here in this bedroom, probably three feet away from the window, but we never close it at night. Jim Morey says he heard squealing and then a loud thud. When he looked out the window, he called 911. He couldn't believe what he was seeing hit Cheryl's porch, put the porch into the back end of her car, pushed it all the way across the lawn there. I'm going to say it's a good probably 30 feet or so. And the front end of the car wound up in the front of her shed. Mr. Morey says that's when the out of control driver came so close to his mobile home, he nearly hit his natural gas line. Lord knows what would have happened if he would have hit those then everybody around here probably would have had to have been evacuated. The driver's path of destruction continued, running into several more cars until finally his car, this silver Lincoln Navigator, stopped. That's when other neighbors, including a CPL holder, held the driver until police got there. Thank God that it wasn't in the afternoon when we've got children running around here on the weekend that aren't in school. Yeah, now that driver really left people in a mess out here and, and left a mess indeed. As far as his identity and the charges, we don't have that and we won't get it until he is arraigned, which will probably happen uh, the first part of this week coming up. We are live in Brownstown Township tonight. Kimberly Gill, Local 4. Wow. Kim, that home behind you, obviously we can see damage there. The folks that live there, they're okay? Yeah, yeah, T just take a look at that, Steve. Just just a mess for this poor homeowner. Uh, everybody from what we know is going to be Okay, the only person hurt in all of this we hear uh, is that driver and uh, hopefully we'll get some more information about this. But just in the meantime, you know, people are still dealing with this and their damaged cars. They have to go to work and get kids to school, that sure. sort of thing. So it's really it's, it's left them in a big mess. What a giant mess. All right, Kim, thank you.